Welcome to South Cedar Paranormal. It is Tuesday, January 31st, 2023, and today I'm sharing true paranormal stories on the web. As always, you can find all the episodes of the show along with links to social media and other ways to contact me at the podcast page, which is salcedoparanormal.podbean.com. That's S A L S I D O Paranormal. Dot podbean.com. Always happy to hear from you all, whether you have comments or questions or topic suggestions or stories of paranormal experiences, whether they're your own or they're from others that you trust. Happy to either read those or have you join me on the show to talk about them. And so I have two stories for tonight. And, uh, and then, of course, tomorrow I will be uh, sharing more paranormal news. So that's the plan for this next couple of days here. And then, of course, after that, uh, Thursday, I'll be sharing some more H.P. Lovecraft, reviewing some more stories from that book, and uh, getting getting closer and closer to finishing that, and then we'll see where we go from there. So, um, let me see here. I think that takes care of everything. Thank you all for listening. Whether you're here for the live streams, I see you all there, or you listen to the podcast or YouTube feeds. Uh, we just uh, crossed 11,000 views on YouTube just the other day. So, and we're still at over 4,000 uh, downloads. So, thank you all so much for that. Um, all right, so let me get to the stories here. And then I can start. All right. So this first one says, this was a few few years back when I was still in high school. It was during the summer, and I remember that I remember that only because of how hot it was that day. I had gone to sleep in thin pajamas with my fan going full blast to keep me cool during the night. The next thing I know, I'm waking up, and I looked at my alarm clock. It was around 2.40 in the morning when I got up to get to drink some water because I was parched. I had just stepped out of my room and opened my eyes because I had been rubbing at them to wake up a little more before I, I paused. My nightlight was on. Yes, I use a nightlight. And there was something in front of me sucking up the light from it, uh, say about five feet away. It was tall, black, and had what looked like some type of hat on. I'm pretty sure it was a fedora because of the way it tipped. And I just froze up for a bit while staring at it before flicking on the hallway light because I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck raise the longer I stared at it. Once I had flicked on the light, it was gone. But I have never in my life felt so terrified before or since. Are these types of shadow people dangerous or something? And uh, that's where the story ends. And uh, that is a good question. I don't think they, I don't think there's any one answer for that. It seems like so many shadow stories, they just all act different ways. Or they just stay in one position. Which, in and of itself, if you're not expecting it, can definitely seem uh, frightening, I would think, if you're just seeing this and you've never had an experience before. It can definitely seem like it's, it's, it means harm, even if it doesn't. Um, so I don't blame the person for being terrified in that situation. Uh, but at the same time, it was gone when the lights went on. Whether that was because the light somehow made it leave or it wanted to leave because it didn't like the light that's always something that's hard to know um because i've heard of people seeing shadow figures not often not all the time but sometimes they'll see them in buildings or or across rooms um they'll see shadow figures when there's lights on so the not all these shadow figures respond or, or react to light in the same way um 
But uh, yeah, nice numbers. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's amazing. The, it's it's come that far. So and only just a little bit over a little bit over two years, and with the schedule changing, up until very recently. So, um, but uh, yeah, the so I think shadow figures are just it's like so much in the paranormal. You have to take each uh, event sort of on its own and. And I mean, definitely compare it to other things, but just be aware that each situation can be different as well. And so it's hard to say what was going on there, um, why it was there, or why it left, or what it was. So, but uh, quite the quite the little experience there, and short short experience there. Um, I'm glad that nothing else happened, as far as the writer says. So. That's good. Maybe it was just passing through. Um, if it was again, the, the all these reports of it of these things, uh, these beings taking in light, almost like it it's taking in that light energy. Maybe it was uh, just taking in energy before it left, and uh, and then, but then the the light, the the full light of the room was maybe too much. I wonder if that can be a thing. It needs somewhat small sources to, uh, instead of just being surrounded by it, or maybe it just left. It's again, it's just really hard to to know. But uh, yeah, so that's that story, and I have one more here. This other one now, um, I don't know what to make of it. So we'll see what uh, what you all think. And I was looking at the comments in it after, and apparently this happened somewhere in Sweden, I believe it said, uh, in the comments. So, but this is the story here. Let's see once I get to it. Okay. This one says, when I was around 15 years old, I lived in this house near the woods. And we had this really long stretch of dirt road, not too far away, that used to be a railroad many, many years back. Me and a friend of mine were driving a quad bike, so basically, I guess, a bike with four wheels, on this dirt road because no cars drive there, so you could do whatever you wanted to. You know, just play around with different vehicles. One day, on this particular dirt road, as we were playing with the quad bike, that's what they call it here. I've never heard of that, but it could just be a different name there. It says, we saw someone walking far down the road. We slowed down and drove forward. As we got closer, at first, it first looked like a person that was walking several dogs. Just to clarify, we were still pretty far away. When we got a little closer, it sort of looked like a moose. So at this point, we stopped the quad bike and decided to just watch it. As it kept walking towards us, it started to look more like a person again, but without any dogs this time. So we decided to start up the quad bike again, and we drove towards this person. Now, all of a sudden, it looked like the person was drunk because it started going side to side on the road like it couldn't keep its balance. So we drove a little faster to check what was going on. When we were pretty close, the person fell off the road. At this point of time, we drove really fast to make sure everything was fine, but we couldn't see anyone at all. We had gone pretty far down the road. So we were at an open field. So if someone would have fallen off the road, we would have seen the person. But no, nothing. Just a completely empty field. We got pretty freaked out. And after a minute or two, we heard this gunshot and some sort of moan from an animal or something. I can't really explain it but it was a weird sound. 
the gunshot itself isn't that weird because where we live, it's pretty normal for people to go out and hunt animals. I didn't, uh, we didn't think much more of it and just drove back home. The next day we decided to go out on the quad bike again and we saw this figure again way down the road. But at this point of time, we drove really fast towards it. As we got closer and closer, it looked like it turned into a human, then a moose or something, then back to a human, exactly like what happened the day before. When we got even closer, it started losing its balance and started going left and right on the road until it fell off the road again. A minute or two passed, and then we heard this gunshot again and some sort of moan from an animal. I still can't explain it. To this day, I still get shivers thinking of it because no matter how much I think about it, I can't comprehend what it was that we saw. Does anyone have any idea what it might be? And that's the end of the story. Um, whatever happened, it seems like a, a residual playback of something. But the odd part is the changing, the way this, this, I don't know, vision, this figure changed shape uh in terms of the writer and, and their friend as far as i could tell i wonder if it means it went down on all fours somehow for a bit and then got back up and then i don't know and then the going side to side thing um I don't know. And then the gunshot, it does seem like the gunshot sound happens. It seems like that's part of it. And that's what makes me think it's some kind of a residual energy recording. Just a recording of some event from before, maybe. Or at least from some point in time. And, and everything plays out the same way. It's just a question of of what was what were they seeing that was appearing to look like it was changing shape like that um i wonder if the distance could be somehow messing with what they're seeing i don't know that one seems to almost involve it seems almost like a like a uh, um energy record energy playback energy field that plays back Possibly the here's an idea the the appearance of some kind of shape shifting something that then gets shot maybe I don't know and but and, and the the sound of that that shot is part of the the whole recording it's a it really is an odd i um, experience i don't know how to it's not easy to classify it or to put it in one of the usual kinds of boxes that you can sort of do with so many other stories um like the first one that was a shadow like a hat man kind of figure and that's appears, appears to be what that was that that's a box you can sort of put that one in um but this other story, it has different elements in it, so I don't know what to make of that one at all. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's all I have for today. But uh, thank you all for being here, and I'll be back tomorrow with Paranormal News on the next episode of Salcedo Paranormal. Take care, everyone.